So welcome to Medent Tutorials. These are sample questions from February 2022, the Viva section. And this is GMDC Internal Medicine. So there are others that I have to upload. So you might want to subscribe so that you get notified anytime I upload the rest, at least before your exams. All right. This, like I said, is from 2022, just this February. So it's very, very high yield. Very high yield. So let's begin. So they were asked to talk about septicemia, the causes, risk factors, complications, and treatment. So, so that things will be faster, if you have answers to any of the questions, please write it in the comment section, all right? So that somebody can learn from you. Okay, so basically they talk about this. They were asked about shock, the types, how they present, especially in septic shock, and how to manage it or its treatment. So questions to ask on the chest, on chest pains, questions to ask on chest pains and its differential diagnosis. Then they were asked about GIT causes of central chest pains, G8 presentation, gastroesophageal reflux diseases. It's present, how do they present? All right. Then characteristics of myocardial infarction, MI myocardial infarction. Then they were asked to define sickle cell disease, stigmata, natopathy, the crisis, differences between them, and its management. After sickle cell DA, it's very high yield, very high yield. So you need to know a lot of things about sickle cell, a lot of things about sickle cell. All right. And then heart failure presentation. Somebody come with you with congestive heart problem. How are you going to, or how are they going to present? We have to know it. All right. And then how to differentiate pain in MI and then in pulmonary embolism. Myocardial infarction and pulmonary embolism. What is the difference in the pain? Hmm. Now, a man with bilateral crepitation differential diagnosis. So on this quotation, there were crepitations. What are your differentials? What are your differentials? Then risk factor for, for cardiovascular diseases, risk factor for cardiovascular diseases. And now a man with frontal bosin, natopathy, what is my diagnosis? I mean, what is your diagnosis? Okay, good. So that means it's more or less like sickle cell, right? Mm -hmm. Then how does hyperhemolysis present? How does it present? How does it present? You have to also know. So that's one of the reasons we do the serial urine collection, right? All right. Now, 17 year old with cola like urine. I think I've actually told you what it is. So, the hyperhemolysis, normally you see cola like urine. Yeah. 17 year old with cola like urine. And you are seeing aside sickle cell disease and malaria, name other differentials. Other differentials. So, that means that what other things can cause hyperhemolysis? or can cause RBS to be destroyed. Exactly. Maybe, yeah, your GSPDs and goals, right? All right. But again, anything you're mentioning a disease or something, make sure that you have a strong knowledge about that condition because they can do a follow-up. They can do a follow-up based on what you are saying. They can do a follow-up. Very important. All right. And then differences between hypertensive emergency and Agency and emergency. What is the differences? And then which one is life threatening? When it comes to hypertension, it's a very high yield topic, and you have to know about it. You have to know, read everything on hypertension. Okay, the risk factors, modifiable, non modifiable, all of those things. Learn them very well. Learn them very well. Again, if you have answers to some of these questions, please just let us know in the comment section. But these are basically all the internal medicine questions that were given to them or from friends, okay? We gathered it together to help those of you who are writing in June. All right, okay. Now define pneumonia, the causes, the signs and symptoms, then what will be heard on physical examination? So then you hear of pneumonia too, also start thinking of uh, pleural effusion too, because they can even ask what is the difference between pneumonia I mean, on chest examination, 
pneumonia and pleural effusion, very, very high yield, very, very high yield. And then if you're lucky or unlucky, they can even show you an X-ray of it to differentiate between them. So you need to know. And talking about X-ray, I might be doing a full tutorial going tomorrow, all right, which is on Wednesday, going tomorrow on how to read X-rays, how to read X-rays. So if you're interested, just please comment in the comment section or the comment box and we'll get interactive. So now we have what assessment of an unconscious patient and how will you give prognosis to relative based on the assessment? This is a very, very tricky sort of question for them to ask you, especially the prognosis to give to relative based on your assessment. All right, but actually you have to let them know that the condition is not good. All right, let them know that the condition is not good. But of course, for assessment, you must make sure that your ABC is always done. Your GCS, whatever thing you are supposed to do, just make sure you do them. But then, like I said, let them know that the condition is bad. It's good to prepare their mind for the worst than to tell them that, oh, he'll be fine. Or, oh, he's okay. Meanwhile, in reality, he's not. Better to prepare their minds towards it. All right? For me, that's what I would do anyways. But also share your, 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 your opinion in the comment section, all right? But particularly, I think that's what we do. That's what we do. All right. Then what causes hemiparalysis, paralysis, paraparalysis, spastic paralysis? You have to know all of these things, all right? <laughs> know all of these things. So please, guys, share, 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 share your opinion on all of these things. Then presentation of hypothyroidism. How do they present? How do they present we have to have an idea about it and then the types of cva this cardiovascular accident is very common last that the stroke okay it is something as a stroke so talking about the risk factors prevention the primary and secondary prevention very important high yield topic it can even come in your written part if there should be a written all right it can come in the written part now the way the GMDC is going, we don't even know how they're going to set their questions, the format they're going to do it. But it's good to be prepared for anything, all right? Prepared for anything. So like I said earlier on, God willing, tomorrow, I'll be doing a presentation on how to read an X-ray. So if you're interested, let me know in the comments section. So that I was saying the link during my Zoom presentation. So you can join for us to have a very wonderful section. So basically, that was all for internal medicine. So watch out for surgery, ops and gynae, public health, and then the, what again? Pediatrics, yes. Watch out for those uh, questions, the viral questions as well. I'll be alluding them very soon. So again, subscribe so you don't miss it. Peace out.